Will he stay connected? Let's go see. He might not stay connected. I hope he does. Because I moved it near the window. La 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 la. Let's see who comes in here and talks to me. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Doing some carpentry work. I painted these cabinet doors and now I'm putting the hardware back on. And I'm putting them back on the cabinet. Up on the wall. My foot is so cold. I stepped in some freaking water out here. The ice and the snow. My toes are... I got some dry socks in the car. What's in here? So stupid. Foot is so cold. I'm going to stand by the heater. Warm my foot up. Had the phone at a better angle than this, but then it didn't want to connect over there on the counter. It only wants to connect in the window. So now it's in the window at a weird angle. Not a worse angle, though. It could have been a worse angle. I've seen worse angles. I've seen people live stream and stuff. I'm like, dude, like, your angle sucks. It could be worse. I've seen videos just recently. I'm like, who told you to shoot that from that angle? That looks terrible. I turned the heat up, so it's not really going to help my foot, though, because my foot, the water is trapped in my shoe, apparently, on my sock. It's not warm. It's cold. Toes are freezing. Mm. When your screwdriver slips, I slipped the other day, sliced my freaking finger open a little bit, was bleeding pretty dang good. I still kept going though. Shoot, sure. who cares? I just held the tissue on it, applied pressure, and kept going my life. And it was fine the next day. I was putting in bleach and back at it all over again, cleaning stuff up and painting stuff. So you didn't let everything get you down. But it's nice when your screwdriver does not slip and does not slice your freaking finger open. Alright, so this is what I did. I washed this cabinet. Well, I took it down. I washed the door. I painted it twice. And I scrubbed the hardware down. And I put the hardware back on. Four screws, four screws, two screws. Yay! I think one day I'm going to take the hardware back off. Either repaint it black or paint it gold. For some reason I want gold, gold accents in here. Because I had some gold... Um, switch covers I was going to get from the thrift store. And I didn't get them because I'm stupid. It would have been a dollar and fifty cent. The big one with the double switch was two dollars. was a one dollar. And the single switch was fifty cent. So a dollar and fifty cent I could have had two switch covers. And I didn't get them. And they were gone when I went back yesterday. Which has been like over a week. It should have been gone for over a week. Yeah, so. That schmucks. But anyway. But wait till I get the hardware on all the doors. Then I'll put them back up. I've already done one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six doors up. And I painted all the cabinets. I washed all the cabinets. I painted all the cabinets. Um, two coats. And now all I have to do is finish getting these doors on. I only have four doors left to get on. So I just have to put a hardware on them, which is not hard to screw in a screw. Or for each one is um, 10 screws. Each door is 10 screws. But all of them don't take a straight screwdriver. Some of them take a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, if you don't know the difference in a straight screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. This is a straight. So this, can you see it straight? Ooh. And this is Phillips because it's like this. So it's like... You know, the little grooves in it. Everybody don't know that, but I am from a family of carpenters. And my mama fixed everything when I was a kid because my daddy wasn't around. I don't know if my daddy can even fix stuff, though. Like, I think if he was around, she would have still been doing everything anyway. Because she's awesome. So, I learned how to do stuff from her. I learned about tools. And I had to freaking drive in desire to learn how to do everything that she did 
And then I learned how to do more stuff when I became inconvenienced to ask anybody to do anything. And then most likely they'll say no. And that's stupid. And then you have to pay somebody. And who wants to put out all that money to pay somebody to do something? Plus, some people cost so much, nobody can afford to pay. You can't, who got, I can't afford to pay people to do things that I do because it's a lot of money. And they'll overcharge you all day, even if you're a dude. Definitely if you're a chick because if you're a woman, they just think you're stupid as crap. And even if I need somebody to do something for me, I always know what the going rate is and what they should have done and what they didn't do right. And then they get mad at me. I'm like, dude, I'm a girl, but I know you didn't fix that right. Like, I know what you're telling me is stupid because they try to explain stuff to you real dumb, like real slow and crap, like you're stupid or something. And I'm like, I know you think you're really smart and you think because I'm a girl and my vagina makes me stupid. I don't know what you're talking about, but... um. Clearly what you're saying is dumb. And well, you don't know what you're talking about. And you have no idea how to go about what I'm asking you to do. I mean, I'm asking you to do it just because I don't have the tools to do it. Or I don't have the strength because men are clearly stronger. But that don't mean I don't know how to do it. If I had your tools, I could do it myself. So you're dumb. Anyway, it's better to learn how to do things yourself. And screwing and screws is pretty much the simplest thing anybody can learn how to do. And learning the difference between a straight screwdriver and a Phillips head is pretty basic. If you were helping somebody fix something under the sink or work on a car, most likely they'll say, hey, hand me a wrench, hand me some pliers, hand me a Phillips head, hand me a straight screwdriver. That's basically what they'll actually do. They might ask you for the ratchet set. Um, ratchets are easy too. I left the ratchets in the car though, so I can't teach you anything about the ratchets right now. But ratchets are really easy. I change my own tires. Like, I take a lose all my own furniture. Ow! Dang it! See? Screwdriver slipped. Mm mm mm. But I actually wasn't paying attention either because I was talking. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, ratchet sets are pretty basic. As long as you know how to put the dang on piece on, make sure. It fits your freaking screw. Your and you know how to put it on and turn it to where it's gonna easily loosen and tighten it. Not a whole lot to it, so I do my own stuff. I take my own batteries out. I do my own plumbing work. Because, yeah. Well, I do my own plumbing work to the point like I can unclog my own toilet. I have two snakes. I really needed, I had the three foot, which was working just fine. And then I couldn't get that last damn clog out. And I don't know why. So I got a 10 foot? I think it's 10 foot, which is freaking massive. And I still couldn't get the clog out. But then the actual plumber had to come for that one. He got out. Big, heavy-duty, industrial snake. Like a big monster. Because the ones you buy at the store for like $10, they're nice. They're good. But they're not really sturdy. Like, the first one I bought, the plastic would like break if you like beat on it too much to like get it into the hole. And then the second one I bought, the plastic sleeve thing or whatever was way stronger. Like super thick. But the coil spring thing that takes it into the pipe is so freaking flimsy that it's like you killing your hand trying to get it down in there just to get it into the pipe and then once you get into the pipe you can use the big pipe i don't know how to explain it it's a big like plastic tube that the coil goes up into and once you get that you take it you hook it down into the pipe and then you have to take it and push the coil down in there but it's very very flimsy and it'll hurt your hand and it's crazy, but the one that the plumber has is like heavy dude, like big, tough, you know, it's like a big piece of metal. You don't have to like deal with any flimsy in this. I'm going to get one one, two, one day too. The most talked to the plumber guy the whole time who was um, busting out my, the clog in my toilet. That thing is only $80. I was like, damn, that's a great investment. I bought two snakes since I've been in my old apartment and together I paid $20, I think. For that, for those who um, snake, but in reality, I had to cut, had to get the maintenance man to come twice. I bought a freaking um, accordion plunger, which is bomb. That thing can get out any regular, regular clog. And if that doesn't bust it out, 
heavy duty tool, you can't beat it. And I'm telling you, he worked on it for like not even five minutes and then it just killed it. And they're really good. I had a um, maintenance man one time before I became, you know, any good, any kind of plumbing thing. Um, and he had a good one. It was sort of, it was like an in-between that heavy duty one he had and the one I got from like the long one I got I got from the freaking hardware store. But that like and my son had like put a toy in the toilet and he cranked it and beat on it until he busted it out. We assumed it was a toy anyway. That's when he was like two <laughs> and everything went in the toilet or the trash. So we we're assuming it was a toy because he loved toys and playing with toys in the water. Whether it was a toilet or the tub. So that's probably what happened to that toilet. Um but yeah, when I get my snake, well, I'm going to show you my old snakes. They are packed up right now. They're in storage right now. But when I get them out of storage, I'm going to show you my snakes. I might just go to the store and show you ones in the store. Um, and then I want to get one of those industrial ones. I guess it's called industrial. It's very heavy duty. And I want to get y'all to see one of those. Because I want one very, very, very badly. But when my kids put stuff in the kitchen, in the um, kitchen sink or the bathroom sink, but I've only done it in the bathroom sink. Um, I just take the pipes and loose at the bottom of the freaking sink and just get the freaking um, clog out. So normally, you know, if it's water in the sink, you dip all the water out the sink, you put it in the toilet. Then whatever little water is left in the bottom of the sink that you can't scoop out and in the... Let me show you. Alright, so this is the pipe. That's in your sink, right? So normally this goes up into the freaking, this part goes up into the sink. So this is a kitchen sink one. But the one in my apartment, it's like this part was here and this part was here, right? Like this. And this is the part that was at the bottom of the sink. So I would just unscrew this part, unscrew this part. You have a bucket underneath of it though, because if you don't have a bucket underneath of it, then whatever water is left in the pipe is going to go on your floor, right? But it's not a ton of water. Once you get the water out of the deck on sink, but there's only a little bit of water left in the sink that you can't dip out. And you take this off. You just unscrew this, unscrew this. Dump it out. Clean all the crap out of it. Put it back on it. And your sink is unclogged. Like, I've seen a maintenance man in my old apartment do it, like, twice. And I'm like, Shh, I can do that. And in reality, when he did it, he used all my tools. He used my freaking wrench. What? My wrench. And I had this really long screwdriver that was, like, longer than this. So, it was super long. Do I even have one around here that's that long? I don't think I have one around here that's long. No. These are pretty dang long. But the one I had in my old apartment was like this long. And he took my freaking wrench, my freaking screwdriver, and he used my wrench to untighten this. And then my screwdriver to hit, um, go down into the sink and push the crap out. So I said, if he's using all your freaking tools, then all you need is the know-how. And you can do it yourself without having to call anybody. So that's what I did. I learned how to do it. I watched them and I learned how to do it, and that's just it. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to need, like, a sink plunger because I can just take it away. And also, my bathroom sink in my old apartment, um, I got it where I didn't even have to get a wrench to um, loosen this up because the first time it was really tight. And all this, this little notch here, can you see it? This notch and this notch was gone because of... The screwdriver trying to grip it. And then these notches right here were kind of worn off. But it didn't matter because I just didn't tighten it up so much that I couldn't do it with my hand. So I tightened it up enough where the water didn't leak out. But it wasn't so tight that I couldn't unloosen it with my hand. So every time the sink got a little clogged up, I'll just go over there and unscrew it with my hand. I will unscrew this here, this here, and this here. Take it out, um, dump the crap out of it. Make sure nothing was actually in the part that's in the sink. And I'll undo my own freaking locks on my own freaking sink. So you can do that yourself. See, I just showed you how to do it. Um, on the sink I had, uh, it's like a pedestal sink. And you don't have access to the pipes in the bathroom because of the pedestal part. So I'm like, uh, when the plumber man comes, I'm going to, because he has to like do all the pipe stuff. He has to figure out all the plumbing stuff to get it working again. And then after that, I'm going to do it myself. And when he comes, I'm going to ask him what might I do if there's a clog in the sink because I don't have access to the actual um, pipe to clean it out like I normally do. I'm not calling somebody to do that. I'm going to ask him.
him for free when he comes and then I'll be glad I don't have a husband and guys don't know how to do anything. I'm not gonna say all guys. I know plenty of guys that are my age and older. Some guys are younger. Well, I live in the country. So in the country, people learn how to do things. You know, can't you can't really be super lazy in the country. Like there's a lot of really lazy people out here. A lot of dudes that don't know how to do anything. So stupid. But mostly guys out here know how to fix cars and do handiwork in the house and cut grass and do farm work and you know hands-on stuff but i don't have a husband for that i know my husband will be able to do all kinds of awesome stuff but as of right now it's just me and my babies and being my mama's child i've made a point to learn how to do everything myself so that's the plan so when he comes i'm gonna ask him how I might access my pipes because I have the pedestal sink. I don't really want a pedestal sink because it looks cute, but it just makes it way it's going to be a little bit harder for me to, to do maintenance on my own sink. Um, yeah, this is taking, I'm just taking forever to do this one door. I probably should be quiet for a minute or focus. Oh, no, I was showing you how to do the freaking unclog your sink. I'm thinking like I'm being unproductive, but I'm not because I'm... Being very educational. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anyway, I almost finished with the door. I just gotta do these last two screws. So my goal today is to do these doors and get them back up. We ran out of paint yesterday. So I was gonna repaint the bottoms of this um cabinets, but it has two coats, but they were like really like ugh. Like I cleaned them and then they still looked weird after I painted them and I painted them again because everything gets too close of paint. And it just still can't, looks kind of iffy. I don't know. Like it doesn't look dirty. It just looks like the wood is still coming through even though I painted it twice. But I didn't give it like a whole day to dry. So maybe it needed more drying time. I don't know. So I can't paint. So I'm going to get these doors up and I'm scrubbing the floors again. Because we're putting the hardwood floors down next week. And well, I'm not putting the hardwood floors down next week. The hardwood floors will be installed next week. And I want, we want the floor underneath of it to be clean. Because it has that, like, that old dusty smell or whatever. And the more you clean, the more dirt you get out, the more, the cleaner it'll be. And it'll smell better. And then you can infuse your own smells, your own pine salt. Everything's getting clean with pine salt and grease lightning because the cabinets were really ugh. And they were a little greasy and gross. So I did the grease lightning on those. And then I washed with the pine saw. And then I have to do inside the cabinets. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do clean water. Clean water again. I'm going to clean it for inside the cabinets. And then I'm going to dump it out. And then with the blunt pine saw. And then I'm going to go over it again with the pine saw. And then I'm going to clean the outsides of the cabinets again. Even though I just painted them. You know, they pick up dirt and dust. So, in the whole end, when the whole thing is finished being done, everything's going to get wiped down and washed down again to get all the, you know, like the renovation dirt and dust off of everything. And then, hopefully, we're we'll doing the floor. We've cleaned the floor like four or five times. Yeah. And the cabinets, the bottom cabinets are a uh, whole new cabinet because they were just old and rotten. And washing everything down a few dozen times, um, it's going to smell delicious in here and then i must get my bath and body works or bed bath and beyond candles and i'm gonna become one i love candles now i'm kind of scared of fire because i'm a burn survivor and i don't really mess with stuff i can't control but i know i can control the fire if i'm just like smart about it. like put it on top of the refrigerator well not under that cabinet if i put it in the middle of the counter cabinet counter or whatever and nothing flammable around it is fine. And then it just smells good. And it'll infuse your whole house with yumminess. Also, also good tip. I heard, I don't know where I heard it from. But you get a pot of water, put it on your stove and boil it. Put a couple of cinnamon sticks, um, orange slices. I put orange peels in there too. Um, brown sugar and apple slices. And it makes your whole house smell like fall. And I was doing that in the summertime because it just smells so good. I noticed though when I ran out of cinnamon, it didn't smell as good. Like, I think cinnamon is a key. Like, if you just boil a cinnamon, it'll probably be fine. I think the cinnamon and the orange peels are, like, key. But the apple does add, like, that yummy, 
fall apple pie bacon smell to it. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to start doing that. At least twice a week. I like infuse the walls with that solder, but then we don't have carpet. So, um, well, you know what? I love pine saw. I love pine saw. I think I'm going to do the floors and pine saw all the time, but I also want to get a Swiffer. But once your Swiffer um, um, solution container is empty, you don't have to like buy, you can just refill it with whatever solution in there or fill it with some pine saw water and use your own and use that container. With your own solution and just have your little dog on Swiffer. And you also don't have to buy the Swiffer refills. You can just take like um, rags or whatever and cut that up and use that. Like those little Swiffer pads are not like super absorbent. Oh my God, this is such an amazing thing. They don't believe that crap. I see people take um, maxi pads. They're like a life hack thing. They take a maxi pad and put it on there. Like, you know, you can get a whole box of those for a dollar. And you want to do a, a quick cleanup. So... Anyway, I'm trying to clean everything up real good and then infuse the place with yumminess. So it's like clean smelling and inviting and relaxing and all that good stuff. This screw is trying to give me a hard time. I don't know why it's trying to give me a hard time, but it legit is trying to give me a hard time. <laughs> oh my god, do I have any music on this phone? I know I listen to music on the phone that I'm um, streaming on, so I don't have any music. I think I have music on this phone, but I think maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm so thirsty, but I can't eat. I can't drink anything because I don't have to use the bathroom. I'm trying not to have to use the bathroom. And my bladder freaking sucks. But I haven't had anything to drink since dinner time, like 6 o'clock last night. On purpose. And I thought about getting something to drink. I woke up at like 4. And I was like, oh my god. And I ate two cookies, which my chubby self don't need. And I got a cup to get something to drink. Looked at the drink and said, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, I don't need that. And then sat down and realized I was still holding the freaking cup. So that's God's way of me not like putting any water in my bladder. Even though I really wanted some juice. So when I leave here, I'm going to the store. I have a bottle of water. I'm going to drink this bottle of water when I leave. So I'll be able to go to um the bathroom. What is this doing? I think I don't have any music on here. I really would like some music though. But the music is on the phone that I'm using. So uh, let me see if I can find some music. Find some music. And not accidentally play happy glass. Because happy glass gets your butt caught. Happy glass is fun and it's kind of addictive. And then when you get good at it and you do the same levels you already did, you're like, dude, I killed that one. But I've done the same levels like twice. And then the third time, I'm like, how do you fix this one? I'm like, you've done this one twice. And now you can't figure it out. Like, get a grip for real. Like, you can do it. I believe in you. It's so crazy. Let me see if I can turn my high spot on while I'm doing this. I'll turn my hotspot on. I could use. Oh, I can't use YouTube. Uh, uh. <laughs> it said my stream was interrupted. I want to turn the hotspot on and mess with the scroll thing. I mess it up. Anyway, anyway, um, I can't use YouTube on my couponing phone. This is my couponing phone. It's crazy because that this phone is a uh, Asus phone, AT and T. It came connected to the back of a tablet. I have a video about it. It's an Asus Pad phone. I have a video about it. Um, so look at that video. But it can't. It slides into the back of the phone. And when you have service on the phone, it puts service on the tablet. And you take this phone out of it, the tablet has no service. So it's like dead. But once you put it back on, like if you do coupon on there, right? And you do all your screenshots and all your deal pictures. And and you slide it into the back of your tablet. All that stuff is on your tablet. It's a bigger screen for your phone. It's really awesome. Kids broke my freaking pad phone tablet. All I have is my phone. But the tablet and the phone was for my coupon. And so I was supposed to do all my stuff on here. And then slide it into my tablet and have a bigger, bigger screen. But, you know, kids break things. Anyway, I had my other phone. Not my phone, my daughter's phone. I'm like legit hungry. I've eaten two of these this morning, right? I ate two before I came in here. 
No, I lied. I ate three. <laughs> I ate three two Hawaiian rolls this morning for breakfast. That is, that is a problem. That is a freaking problem. Oh, shoot. It's dead. I forgot it was dead, so I can't even play with that. You know, matter of fact, what's what charge is my phone on? Ah, uh, not 10. I won't be charged on unplugging that. So, I guess I will have, I have a radio on there, but you can't really play music loud on your screens, on your channel, because then you get copyright stricken. Oh my God, why? <laughs> so crazy. I'll be back. I'm going to put this song on, this music on really low so I can hear it without um, getting copyright, I think. I'm still here. I'm still here. Well, I was trying to play Willie Nelson because I freaking love Willie Nelson, but the CD player is kind of malfunctioning because <laughs> it's been in the rental, rental zone and I think the dust and all that stuff is kind of messed it up. So it didn't work for like four days. Like it didn't work any day. I just randomly turned it on one day and it started working. I was like, oh, the CD player is working today. What? So it works when it wants to. So it's like spinning the CD and it sounds all out, but it's not actually freaking playing it. So I just turned it ready. I just turned the conversation on because I really want to listen to Willie. Because Willie Nelson is mom. But the CD won't play, so I just put it on whatever channel is already on. Which is the country station, which I love, so. I mean the apple. I'm not touching it with my dirty hands because I have a paper towel around it. Oh, this might not be a good idea because apples have water in them and they're really juicy. It might make me pee. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't eat this apple. Two more bites. Mm, it's so good. It's already delicious. Two more bites. Two more bites. Mmm. I don't have time to select, okay? Because I have two more do um, doors to do, and I set to put them up. But I'm leaving. Mmm. Mmm. I know what time I'm leaving. And I have time to finish when I'm finishing. But the thing is, you think you have time, and then, like, the screw is malfunctioning. It's not acting right. So it doesn't want to go in. So you say, oh my God. So putting the hardware on each door will take like two minutes, right? Because it can legit take two minutes. Okay. If the screws cooperate, it'll take two minutes. If your screwdriver doesn't slip and you don't slash your finger open like I did, it can take like two minutes, right? But let's say your screw goes in weird like this one. It's straight up and down. It's not crooked, but it's not going in either, right? Okay, that's a problem. And then once I get up on the ladder... I might drop a screw or the screws just might act crazy because sometimes they act a little crazy going in. Don't know why. Um, or it'll just be like, oh my God, am I not strong enough for this? It's really crazy. You can be as handy as can be and something will go weird and just make things take longer. So, mm, mm. Okay. Mm. I said two bites. I took more than two bites. Hopefully, it doesn't make me pee. Because that'd be stupid. Because all that could have had a whole bottle of water. I wonder how much water 
is equivalent into one apple. Like I just ate almost a whole apple. Is it like drinking like this much water or this much water? I don't know. I'm going to be a nutritionist and nurse eventually. Ooh, before I'm 40. Yeah, before I'm 40. How long does it take to go to nursing school? I need to get on there. I got information about a bunch of grants and stuff. Because, you know, my mama. And I'm single. And I'm black. And the Native American thing. And I'm a sperm survivor. They say all that stuff factors into how much money you can get to go to school. So... I want to be finished with school by the time I'm 40. And the nutritionist thing doesn't take that long. And I want to do it at the same time that I'm doing nursing. Because I think they both will help each other. Like what you learn in nursing, what you learn in nutritionist, I'm sure they coincide some kind of way. And I already have my degree in medical assistant. So I already have an associate's degree, so I have a lot of um, medical experience and interest. I'm really awesome because I love medical stuff. I love all the, I watch all the doctor shows like, that ain't right, that ain't right, that ain't right. Oh, oh my God, that's so cool because everything you see on those doctor shows or those lawyer shows, that crap happened in real life. They just adapted it for TV, but it really happened. Like, you can see somebody come in, and they got to stick through that neck. That crap happened to somebody. Or they had those weird cases where, like, oh, well, the mom put the son up for adoption, and then she met him 25 years later and decided she wanted to get be with him, but she knew it was her son. But since she didn't raise him, she decided it didn't matter because she didn't know him his whole life. Like, it's crazy crap like that. Like a brother and sister, they want to get married, right? And then they go, you can't get married because you're brother and sister. And she goes, what? No. I didn't know that. I love him so much. And he goes, I knew, but I just wanted to marry her. What? You knew that was your freaking sister? Ew. This is my thing. If you know somebody, let's say, like I have brothers and sisters I've never met, right? They're from my daddy. And I know they're out there. So I'm like kind of scared of dating. I'm alone do dating anyway. But when I was, they believe in dating. Like I was scared to date anybody because I was like, it's probably going to be your brother. Probably. Like probably if you're attracted to him, it's probably because he's so much like you or something. Or he reminds you of your daddy. Like you don't know. It's weird people are attracted to people. They say, hey, I was raised by my grandma, and I like older women. Ew, what? Or, I have daddy issues, so I like older men. Or, my dad's so awesome, I'm looking for a guy that like my dad. So, that's weird. But, it's like, if you know that's your freaking sibling, even if you've never met that person before today, let's say you look at him at first and go, oh my God, he's so hot. And then you say, dad, look at this guy. He goes, that's my son from my girl from in high school. That's when, as soon as you hear son, and you hear that's your brother, Boom, that should cut it off. Look, I can think a guy is cute, but I always have it in my head. Like, you can't think he's cute because he probably belongs to somebody, right? That's just disrespect from the root. So, I always assume everybody's married, right? And then, as soon as you say, boom, wife, boom, that's when you, like, your brain just shuts that whole part of your thought process off. You just go, no, that's rude. The disrespect that belongs, he belongs to somebody else. You know, you don't, that's off limits. So, to know somebody is related to you, like your son or your daughter or your brother or sister. Like even here, like they say third cousin, after your third cousin don't matter. No, cousin matters. You're in my family in some way. No. And I, everybody in my area is pretty much related. Like some kind of way we're related. All of us. I just want to date in my, my area. Because we're all related some kind of way. And I can't look through my family history and say, hey, so I went through my family history, right? And I was looking, and this is a lady named Jessie Mae Watson, and I just found out that she's my husband's grandma or great-grandma. Nobody from your significant other's family tree should be in your family tree. That's gross. <laughs> just knowing it is gross. I mean, if you've been with somebody for like 25 years and you found it like your seventh cousin or whatever, I guess, whatever. But in my area, we have churches, right? And it's like your home church is your home church. It's usually in the same area where you live or it's the same church your grandma and, you know, generations of your family have been going to. I always consider everybody that went to my church my family. So, technically, somewhere down the road, they all are my cousin. 
But mama said a couple of them are like not really my cousin. Like she don't even know how they would be my cousin. She does that family history. And I'm like, I know you say he's not in, but to me, he's my cousin. Like to me, everybody that went to my church that I grew up at is my freaking cousin. Like I think everybody in the county technically is my cousin, but legit if I grew up with you and we went to church and Sunday school together every Sunday, we sung in the little kids choir together, we went on the fishing trips together, like you're my freaking cousin. I don't know if I just consider all those experiences like family close experiences you have with family. I don't know. But I consider all of them my cousin. So this guy that I went to school with, that I went to church with, I saw him the other day and he was talking to me. And I was like, first of all, I think he's just being nice. He's not flirting with you. Not that I would know the difference. Cause I wouldn't know the difference anyway. Um, and second of all, like if you found out that him and his wife got married, because I know he got married. I know he's, he was married before. He has a little daughter that was playing with my daughter. But if they got divorced and he legit tried to pursue me, no. Nah. <laughs> you're my cousin you're attractive you're freaking successful you're amazing you're nice but i'm like to me you're my attractive successful amazing cousin <laughs> that's just how that frank works i don't even know how to get on this subject oh yeah oh like how you know somebody your freaking cousin or your daughter or your son even if you wasn't like you didn't raise them or you wouldn't run in their whole life and you decide you want to be with them that's so gross i don't even know how to get on this subject for real though for real. I was talking about country music. I was talking about Willie Nelson. I was talking about the radio being messed up. Hmm. I talk so much. I ramble a lot. I really don't know how I got on that subject. This is the weirdest crap. I ramble a lot. That's why I said I need to learn how to edit because people edit. People do a lot of jump cuts for no damn on reason, but I need to learn how to edit because when I do videos, I talk a lot. Like a lot of rambling. A lot of talking, a lot of talking, just a lot of talking. But I did start writing scripts, like writing out what I want to talk about, the topics I want to talk about, and I also um, need to learn how to stay on the topic. And I need to be able to edit if I need to cut out a bunch of just weird, random stuff that doesn't make any doggone sense to people. Like to me, it makes sense because I went from one subject to another subject and it kind of correlated and flowed together. But I guess it probably didn't. How they didn't flow together because I have no idea why I start talking about cousins and relatives and people dating relatives. Ugh. But I heard about it before, it's gross. Like, ew. So, you put your daughter up for it. You didn't know it was your daughter because her mom didn't tell you that she was pregnant. And then 25 years later, you see this beautiful young lady. And then you find out, oh, that's your daughter. You go, I don't care. <laughs> ew. So gross. I have brothers and sisters everywhere, like all over. I have a brother. I was a brother and a sister, or two brothers in Vietnam, and I can't even look at Asian dudes. I'm like, what if that's my brother, and he made it to America, and that's him? Like, I can't even look at Asian dudes because he could be my brother. Well, Asian, you know, Asian guys look like they're a mix of black, you know, Blasians. They're so gorgeous. The best mix, I'm telling you, is black and Korean. I don't know why I think that's so pretty. Well, you know, everybody's pretty. Everybody's um, mixed folks are beautiful. I have lots of mixed folks in my family. Shit, I'm mixed. But I'm just saying, if you know they're related to you, don't do it. That's gross. I just couldn't even imagine. I can't see me doing a family tree with my husband and... Us having like the same people in it. Nasty. I can screw on this door. But I'm talking a lot. I find people well, a lot of times. What's happening? Yeah, not boring. Well, it's not boring. Work is fun, but just to make it interesting, I figure I do it live. Cause why would you not do it live? Plus, my memory is full of my phone. I can't make a video because my memory is full. And I think lives are fun. I watch lives every day, every freaking day. Um. This lady that found me on another live stream, Monet Ray, she live streams every day. 
And a couple of my friends I found on there, they live stream every day. Live streams are just fun. I saw people's live streams, I can watch all day. I'll be ready to go to sleep. And certain people, they live stream, it's like I'm stuck. Facebook live streams, YouTube live streams. I love a freaking live stream. I don't know. People just fall and hear about new experiences. And it's Oh, hey girl, hey, that name, Georgia Walker Family. Like, you sound like you should be a family of country singers. It's like going around with, like, banjos and guitars and stuff. I don't know, I freaking love country music, though. Like, I should be able to see y'all on PBS with, like, banjos and stuff on, like, a folk, um, like, a folk bluegrass com um, competition. That would be so cool! Okay, I would totally watch y'all in concert because I love your name. And I think your name is amazing. And plus, I love country sounding names. Because my name is Mary Jo. <laughs> I love all country names. My daughter has a country name. I call my son by a country name. It's not even his freaking name. He has a plain traditional Bible name. But I call him freaking Jim Bob all the time. So, I don't know. My mama has a country name. My aunties have country, country names are cool. And Georgia Walker just sounds like you should be, like, all the kids should be lined up with, like, um, what do you call it? Oh, the wash tub. <laughs> what do you call it when you have, like, the wash, the washboard, like, the washboard thing and, like, a banjo and, oh, my God. That's what your name sounds like. That's why I wanted to go to your channel because I was like, what? And then that video I saw, I think I commented on it. It was so cute. And I only saw it at the beginning of it. I didn't even watch the whole video because I was streaming while we were on. But, man, that was the cutest thing. I said, this video, this starts off with so much cuteness. You just want to watch the whole thing. So I have to go back to your channel and watch some of your videos. Yeah. Those live streams is like you want to go to the person's channel. You want to subscribe. You want to like and comment on their video so they know where you came from and how you got there content but i haven't gone back to your um i'm back to your channel your content but the rest of your videos are like that video oh my god i gotta find that video i don't know what video it was it's just getting adorable my my daughters we film like i don't know eight videos for their youtube channel and we haven't put them up because they're like oh that looks so terrible. And I'm like, first of all, we put time and money into those videos because we had to buy the um ingredients. They made like um pizza challenges and bam bean boozle challenges. And plus they're so freaking cute. And those videos are like a year and a half ago and they've grown so much. I told them I said those videos are going up. Even the pretty awful ones, it's not didn't have a lot of thought into them. They're going up because people love cute videos of cute little kids. Oh, really? Yeah, I want to put them up. I don't care. My daughter's 11. She's like, Mom, don't do it. But she knows we put up. We have a whole poster board in the back with their name on it. So, I mean, I want to put them up because we really started making YouTube videos four years ago, right? And putting all this effort into the videos. And then my boys are older and my son's about to be 18. And he's like, don't put those videos up. And he's all mad. I'm like, they were singing and dancing. First of all, him, my son, I'm all in and dancing. So freaking cute. Sounded so good. I mean, killing the game. We put so much work into like the background and the music and lighting. I mean, we did a lot. Even before I started researching on YouTube, we just did a lot of work on them. And they're mad. And the boys are like, don't put those videos up. And I'm like, uh, yeah. I might get a private channel to put those videos up, but they're going to go up. But they're like embarrassed when somebody might see it because, you know, he's only 18 and he thinks he's too cool for school. And I'm like, um, no. Your singing was amazing on those videos. Your hair was fresh. Your outfit was fresh. And you still sing good. Now, he said he can't sing. Man, when my baby boys, who are 17 and 15, they're about to be 18 and 16, when they sing now, like play singing, it's like, what? Stop it. Now, okay, I have a decent voice. I like to hear my little children and old people. I work with kids in daycare, kids in church, and um, senior citizens at this cafe I was running. They all think I should can sing. I know I sing decent, but I'm not going to be out there like audition for American Idol or anything. But their daddy, oh my God. This fool had me. Like he had me before I heard him sing. But his singing is like, what? I mean like, 
make you fall in love. All my friends used to love it because on their birthday, during lunchtime, I used to go to the payphone. Back when they had payphone, because you know I'm old. Back when they had payphones, we used to go to the payphone in the um outside the cafeteria during lunchtime. And I used to always call, call him. And he would sing them happy birthday because his voice is like butter. It is so sweet. It's like silk. So my baby boys can sing and they think they can't sing and they don't like their old videos. But like nobody really likes their old videos. Everybody's voice changes and they get, you know, they think everything sounds weird. I don't like my videos sometimes. You know, I'm like, err, your voice, err, you know. But I mean, I think I do like all my old videos now. Maybe not about three years ago I didn't like the way my voice sounded. I'm putting those freaking videos up. I don't care. My girls' channel is going up. I think other little girls will love their channels. They do little challenges and stuff. And my boys, oh, God, back when they were so good. You know when they were teenagers. Teenagers are stupid. But those videos of the boys dancing and singing is crazy. And then my little girl who's eight, she was in the background. She was like three, two or three, just walking around behind him, playing with toys and stuff, like totally oblivious to the fact that we were shooting a serious video. Just having a ball, just being cute as crap. She wants me to put the videos up. I think I'm going to do it. Because I'm like, they can't just be family memories because other people need to see them. So I'll take them, get up, I'll cast it to the television. And I'm like, oh, we're doing family doing family videos. Casting stuff to the TV. And soon they say, like, hey, 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 come look at these pictures. And I'll start showing them old pictures. And then the videos start playing. And then everybody would just like be glued to the freaking TV. Because, you know, they secretly love those videos. And they know how much work we put into them. And plus, back then they were singing old songs like Michael Jackson and Frankie Lyman. Like... That is the coolest crap ever. Kids in this day and age don't know good music, you know? So, I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. Don't tempt me. Because they're going to be mad at me. <laughs> I don't know they see the reception of people. Because, and they're geared towards Ellen. And, and in the end of, I'm like... Serious, the oldest son will like throw him and actually upload it. I'm gonna upload him, I don't care because it's like you might not get it. This, I mean, they can still get this recognition, and they don't get discovered and say, Hey, you're not still that cute eight year old kid. It'll still be like, Hey, how do you feel about this video that everybody loves now, even though it's three years later? It could happen, shoot. Plus, I love my babies and I want everybody else to love them like I love them and see how freaking cute they are. Because my son is 18 and my other son, my 18, oh, he's not 18 yet. My son is 17 and my other son is um 15. But they still have that same face. And it's just like, oh, you have that same cute little baby face. Can I kiss your baby face? And they're like, get away from me, mom. And plus they're like 6'2 and 6'4. So they're like all tall and mannish and big and strong. And they don't want me to like be embarrassing them and touching up on them and stuff. And I'm like, so... I grew you in my stomach, you popped out of my vagina, and you ate from my boobs. So I can pretty much hug you whenever I want to because, yeah. And you've never been sick and I wasn't there. And I cleaned up all your pee and all your puke. And I've been to all your ceremonies. So pretty much. Whenever I want to touch you and kiss you or you, that's what I do. They don't, I'm like, I've never had anybody like fawn over me. Eddie. Like, I would just, like, stare at him and be like, oh, my God, he's so beautiful. I love him so much. And I think that's just the way I love people, you know. And somebody say, you need to get a boo so you'll stop doing that. I'm like, I'm not going to stop adoring if I had a husband because I would just have one more person to adore. It's like to have somebody just look at you and just think you're amazing, just looking at you and just be amazed that you belong to them and then want to, like, just admire every piece of your face like your face your eyelashes your eyebrows your ears your hair like everything about you is amazing to them my kids don't get how that's important and like i can't explain to you how much i love you all i can do is love you the way i love you and that involves like rubbing your head and kissing your face and squishing your cheeks and laying my face against your face for as long as possible and occasionally sniffing your face or your neck that's just mom is a weird. I don't know. And I swear my 15 year old, the side of his face smells like baby. I don't know how it's. But I'm like, Joe, I love kissing you right here. And your cheek is so soft and warm. And then you smell like a baby. And he thinks I'm weird, but he still lets me do it. Usually. 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 
He thinks it's weird. I don't think he really thinks it's weird. I think he likes it because who wouldn't want somebody to love him? God, dog. But anyway, I'm just so crazy. Don't mind me. I'm crazy as crap. But I'm just like, yeah, they don't get it. So, like, I want everybody to see their videos so everybody can, like, feel what I feel. They're not going to feel what I feel. They didn't carry him and they're not their babies. But I just want, like, other mamas will look at it and go, oh, my God, he's so cute. Look at the way he did that move and look at the way his voice was like that. And look at the way he hit that note and look at the way he was spinning and dancing. Like, I think other mamas would totally get it. But it's so freaking cute. Anyway. I'm a bit of a weirdo, apparently, and my kids say that I'm weird, but apparently they're really weird like me, because, like, I always say, oh my god, look how he chews, oh, and then they started doing it to each other, going, hey mom, look at him chewing, and then the person chewing will go, what, and try not to chew, <laughs> because we're staring at him, because once one person says, look at him chew, guess what? The rest of the five of us are staring at you chew right now. And you can't not chew because you're playing for the food in front of you. You're hungry, just like everybody else. So you're going to chew the rest of your food, and we're going to watch you chew. But then I'll try to deflect it a minute. We watch that one person chew, and I'm like, hey, baby, you chew kind of cute. And then we watch her chew. It's really crazy. But my kids are weirdos like me. And they'll watch other people chew. They watch my mama chew. You know, they go, oh, my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her chew. And I'm like, y'all are strange. And what's funny is, I don't think they're really strange. I don't think they're weird, but I know to other people it's weird. So I tell them, I say, okay, you can't do that stuff outside of their house. Like, you can't watch people chew and want to squish and chew on people's cheeks and stuff. Because to other people, that's crazy. But to us, that's just the way we are. It's like love. It's like normal. It's like, I don't know. I think, I guess it's weird. Is it weird? Do you think it's weird? It's not weird. It's not weird. I've been chewing on babies' toes and squishing tushies and, and cuddling with them forever. I've been uh, almost, well, I say I've been a mom of 18 years. My son doesn't turn 18 until March, but I carried him for nine months. So tell from the moment he was conceived. So I've been a mom of eight. I held him as close as I could while he was in me, and I snuggled my tummy as much as I could, and I talked to him constantly. I told him how much I loved him and sung him songs, and I've been doing the same thing his whole life, even though we've had some ups and downs and bumps and bruises and all this craziness. Like, those are my babies. I don't know how you don't love your babies like that. I don't even know love their babies at all. Like, they don't want to, like, do anything special for them. They don't bake them, make them... Um, special dinners or breakfasts they don't bake them cookies they don't do stuff for their birthdays i don't understand i have so many videos and so many pictures of my kids i'm gonna say i take too many pictures too many videos but then she's like look at that look at that see i've always took so many pictures because i legit have like five thousand pictures like on this one sd card and then i have so many on your computer and my computer and my hard drive and the flash drive like it's so many pictures but i can't not take the pictures i can't not take the videos because i freaking love my little people anyway i'm crazy i don't know why it's like oh yeah my kids have videos i want to put them up because my kids are funny funny and silly and then my little just turned six so we started doing videos when she was six five four four three and a half four and her little crazy face and then she will always mess up the tape. Like, she always wants to, like, open it up or close it. But she wouldn't. And then my eight, so I was like, she was, like, six. Oh, my God. She still has the cutest, adorable face that she's always had her whole life. Those cheeks and her little button nose, ridiculously cute, right? And her little lips. Oh, my God. And then her eyes are big and beautiful. And it's like, she has the same face she's always had. And I'm like, I don't understand how you get bigger and you grow up more and you have that same freaking adorable face i just want to eat her face off then my 11 year old wants to eat her face off you know she gets on her nerves you know because all little sisters get on your nerves i'm just like look at her look what god gave us that's your sister look how cute they are look at your sisters they're so cute and i'm like i want her to appreciate i had two little sisters and my little one she gets on my damn nerves like all the time she's 26 now but we thought she was the cutest little doll baby. Oh, no. And we just played with her and loved her so much. So she was just little and cute. And I'm 10 years older than her. So I was like, what? I need to finish this damn door. Is it the same door? Oh, it's a different door. It's a different door. I'm not working on the same door. It's a different door. I'm almost finished with this door. Okay, I don't feel too unaccomplished. 
I'm almost finished with this door. That was a lot of talking about some babies. I could keep going, but who the heck wants to hear somebody talk about their kids constantly? And then people get mad who say, oh my God, do you want to see pictures of my kids or my grandkids? Nobody wants to hear that because it gets old, I guess. I don't know. I would listen to you talk about your kids forever, but that's because I'm a mom and I appreciate that. And I'm like, your kids are awesome. My kids are awesome too. But then it's like, but I have to go take care of my kids. And I'm still listening to you talk about your kids. What the hell? My phone keeps saying low battery, but it's plugged. So I don't know. It started at 10, now it's on 9, but it's still charging. I think when I finish with the other door, I'm just going to stop the live. Because it's been an hour and 29 seconds. And I'm probably not going to film me putting them up. That's weird. But it's not weird. It is awkward because I'm probably not going to be able to talk much because I'm going to be screwing in screws. Why do I have so many screws here? Oh, these are the screws for the other one. All right. One more door. Oh, one more door, right? Yeah. That goes there. These go here. Okay. I had to re recenter myself. Oh, excuse me. I didn't know what direction I was going. I had to recenter, recenter, recenter. <laughs> I had to fix. I'm thinking. I was thinking I put it on, but this screw never came out, so I had to paint the door and clean the screw hinge with it already sealing the dang on door. So this one. I don't have to do a whole lot. Well, I don't have to do this one screw. I was, it looked like it was backwards for a minute, but it's not backwards. That's the way it was on there because I never took it off. I know one thing. It has taken me an hour to do three doors because I talk too much. <laughs> are we mad about it, though? I think y'all are mad about it because nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Y'all are coming in. I think it's not a good time of the day. Like, that lady... That I watch live stream. I think she know the live stream is like 12 one or something. I think. But she also has 4,000 or something subscribers. So she has more people to pop in than I do. I don't have that many subscribers yet. Although, I've gotten up to 92 now. And I'm fixing to hit 100 before the end of the month. So we'll see. But yeah, this one never came out at all. So I don't have any screen in that one because it never came out at all. And oh, I said, where's the hinge? It's right in front of your freaking face, Mary Jo. You weirdo. You can't see what's right in front of your face. Actually, I don't have my glasses on. So that's why I can't see right in front of my face. But the glasses were causing some kind of weird glare in the camera. That's why I took the glasses off. So I don't need them to see up close. But I was I do because I couldn't see the hinge right in front of me. I can see it. You know you look past something that's right in front of you and go, oh my god, where is it? It's right in front of you, weirdo. So, you can't see that, it's right in front of you. I think I'm be quiet for each group. It'll be faster. <sighs> You know what I'm mad about? When I was younger and didn't have my glasses on, I could squint just a little bit and it would like, you know, shorten my view sight. And I could see stuff out far away. And now, if I squint, it pretty much does nothing. Like, I can see the live, the red thing for the live. I can see the white, the black thing where the counter is, but I can't read the live. Or the counter. I just know it says live. So I can like make it up. Because I can read. I already know it's there. But like the thing that tells you how many people are here. And how many thumbs up. Yeah I can't really. Yeah, yeah. I can sort of see it. Like I know. It's like feeling your way home. Like you know how to get home in the dark. Or how to walk to your house. You can. But it's like. Mm, you're not really seeing it. You just know it's there.
like you know what a number looks like. It's like I know what a one. Pretty much figure out to figure it out. You know. But sometimes your eyesight gets worse, and sometimes it starts off kind of bad, and sometimes it gets terrible. Some people just eyesight deteriorates so fast. I know this blind YouTuber that. She said her eyesight was never really that great. I thought she started off with like really good eyesight and then there's whatever this disease is that she has just like gradually took it away. But apparently she's like, she's like she never had deaf perception. I know she never had deaf perception. I think her eyesight left her at like 14 or 15. I think that's so sad. I mean, I can't say it's sad because she's fine with it. She knows how to, she's coping with it and living with it and making all kinds of money on YouTube. But I'm just like, I like seeing things and experiencing things through sight but I also like music and hearing things too so I'm just trying to take for granted the I'm trying to take it for granted the senses I have that are good as they are I can hear really good I can't see that great I can see pretty dang good at least glasses can help me some people can't glasses don't even help them. they're like legally blind and that lenses are really freaking thick and they can't see pretty much anything. So, why is this screw not working for me? I'm putting this hardware on these freaking thick doors that I washed. I didn't have it sturdy surface. That sink, and it wasn't getting enough um, hardness underneath of it. So. I need to stop because I actually slipped my finger open the other day doing this. So I had my hand in the wrong spot and the screws keep slipping because I mean the screwdriver keeps slipping because the screws are a little bit rusty, I guess. You try to put all this pressure down on it. You put too much pressure on it, you're really gonna slip yourself over. My finger was bleeding. I kept on going though. I just <laughs> wrap the tissue around. It and in a few minutes, I grab it and then I just kept on going. Oh, I finished the last door! Yay! All right, so the last door's hardware is on. So all I did was wash them. I took them off. I washed them. I scrubbed them with a the scrub brush. I painted them twice with white paint. I scrubbed the hardware because it was old, and I put the hardware back on. And now I'm about to put them back up on the cabinet. So I only have four left. I put, no, I have five left. I put the one, two, three, four, five, six. I put the other six up the other day. And then these ones had to get um, a second coat of paint yesterday. So mama put the second coat of paint on them yesterday. And now they dry. And now the hardware is on. And I am going to put it on the cabinet. But I think it would be boring to watch me put doors on the cabinet because i can't really talk to you like it's not like i can like first of all i only have service right here in this window apparently so it's not connect over there and second of all like would you think it was weird to have the camera like in the cabinet or behind me while i'm putting doors on because like, you don't want to see all this bigness all up close from behind me and then in front of me it's probably not gonna work in the cabinet so i guess i gotta go i don't know maybe i gotta go Georgia Walker, I love you. <laughs> it was a really good country song on right now. I don't know who's singing it. I hate when I listen to music and I don't know who the artist is. I know I like the song. Such a weirdo. <sighs> what are you doing, Georgia Walker? So is Georgia Walker one person's name or that's just the name y'all chose for your channel? Like... Is the mama's name Georgia and the daddy's name Walker, or is the mama's first name and the first and last name Georgia Walker? Either way, I freaking love that name. Like, I love my channel's name. I think it's cute. It took me a little, a little while to figure that one out to decide on a name I really like. I freaking love you. They clean these old dusty glasses up. Oh, wow. When you don't have your glasses on for a while and then you put them back on and realize how good you can see, it's like, wow, the whole world opened up. It's so amazing. If only I knew what the problem was to fix the first time. Like, you don't realize how bad your eyesight is until you take your glasses off for a minute. Well, wow. 
and then put them back on. And then also, my glasses get really dirty. And it's like, I'm so used to not being able to see good because I just got the new prescription that I don't notice that I can't see that good until they get like really gross. Like until suddenly it's like a smear or something. I'm like, ew, what the hell? And then I'll take the glasses off and look at them and they will be like visibly disgusting. Like so grody. It's like, how are you seeing anything through those disgusting tail glasses? But I got so used to not having a good prescription because my other prescription was for five years old that I was just so used to not really being able to see good that like when I got the new glasses, it's like, wow. And now it's like they get so dirty sometimes because I don't, I'm not used to being able to see that once I clean them, it's like amazing. When I take them off, I sleep in them. I don't like my eyes and I'm waking up looking for my glasses. So then I'm like stumbling back to the freaking bed. And to get my glasses, and sometimes they fall on the floor. Like, they don't just stay where I put them sometimes. They're going to just fall on the freaking floor. And I'm like, I can't see. How many more minutes will it be till I can see again? Because, you know, it's just crazy. It makes me panic a little bit. I don't like that meeting to see. Oh, my God. So, my daughter wears this hat to school. My little six-year-old. It's very stretchy. Homemade. My oldest daughter calls her a peanut head. Does a little peanut head? I got it. I ain't gonna lie. She had it on the other day and it did like a peanut head on her, but her head is really small. And it's like the hat was just sticking up off her head and had all this loose space in it because she's a little baby head. And I don't know. I guess it does like a peanut hat. I don't know. I have a lot of hair in here, so there's no free space on here. I have a big old huge head and a lot of puffy hair in here. So I'm legit gonna fill this hat up every time I put it on. I just put it on because it was like really cold. Oh no, I went to the bus stop this morning. I didn't want to embarrass them with my crazy wild hair. So I put the hat on and kind of forgot I had it on. So I don't know, I'm a little crazy. Oh, oh God, there's a whole lot more comments I didn't see. Mine was stuck up here on, you should put them out there. <laughs> All right, the makeup. Baby woke up. Oh, the baby woke up. How old is the baby? Oh, okay, okay. I missed all. I missed like seven comments. I'm sorry, Georgia Walker. Oh, the baby. Folding clothes sound. I don't really mind. Why do I put clothes in the clo in the drawer? But I I said when we get in here, I'm not gonna close the closet, hang it up. Um, little caddies. I'm gonna get these little bins to put their panties and underwear in, and everything else is gonna be hung up. Cause I hate stuff getting being free this freaking tossed around. Oh, he's one. That's so cute. Are you nursing or you not nursing? Everybody does a nurse, and then some people only nurse for like three months, six months, sometimes a year. I don't know. I nursed all my kids for a year. I did my fourth one for a year and a half. And I did my second, my fifth one for two years. I don't know. I was kind of over it. And I was freaking love. I wanted to nurse for like four years with the last one. But it's like, I got like pretty much done with the whole baby thing like i heartbroken i just want my body back so i don't know but i try to i try to encourage new moms to consider nursing because it's a great experience even if you just do it for a little while you know three months two weeks as long as you did it but i like to do it after do it until at least that milk comes in because i get the real experience when the milk actually starts flowing and boobs start swelling and you know all that Oh my god, it's such a good song. I don't know who sings this song, but this song is freaking amazing. Are you still folding clothes? I gotta put these cabin doors up. What time is it? God, I've been on here for an hour and 14 minutes. Oh, it's only 11 o'clock. I have two hours before I said I'm gonna leave to put the cabin doors up, which is not gonna take that long, and scrub the floors. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. Yeah, everybody don't do nursing. My friend nursed her daughter for like a week and then she just pumped. I can't remember how long she pumped. I think it was like a couple months maybe. 
she pumped for a little while, but she didn't actually nurse her baby for long. I don't know why she didn't. I think she didn't latch on or something. My thing is, I could nurse all day long, but I can't pump. It's stupid. They gave me like a $600 pump at the um at the WIC office, and I never used it. Like, I tried to use it, and I said, oh, because of like a hospital grade, you know, expensive pump, it's going to be better. I could not get milk out. I mean, I was out. If I, was, I might also go mad. I said, too. I don't know if you're supposed to, like, give away pumps. My sister said I should keep it for her. I don't think she's really going to nurse anybody's baby, though. She's not going to nurse her baby. I think I might, I don't know, find somebody to give it to pump. It's like a pump in the bag with all the, like, the storage area and a strap and really expensive, really nice. I just couldn't use it. I just, I don't know. I want to be that mom that, like, can supply all this milk for her baby and nurse all she needed to and pump all she needed to and have all these like storage bags of milk and I couldn't do it I don't know why I think my mind got in my way I was like you can't let down you can't really relax enough to get enough milk out it's so stupid I can nurse a baby all day all freaking day but to like I thought about pumping and getting enough milk out so that oh is that what it's called oh how did you hear that it sounds so low Who sings this? I love his voice. It kind of reminds me of Bre Brett Eldridge, but I don't think it's Brett Eldridge. I love him. He is so cute. It might be him. Come think about it. I freaking love this song. And I love him. He is gorgeous and so funny. His voice is butter. Well, Georgia Walker, I guess you're the only viewer I'm going to get today. It must not be a good time of day, folks. Just don't like me. <laughs> but the video will be up, so maybe the replay will get some views. I don't know. I have to go because... My foot is cold. I slept in water this morning and it's ice and snow out here and I should have. I grabbed a pair of clean, of dry socks before I came over here and left them in the freaking car. It's like so stupid. Like I left the freaking socks in the car. My foot has been cold all morning and all I got to do is go out to the car and get the freaking socks. It's so dumb. Why don't I just go out there and get the socks? But I just ain't been out there to get the socks. So I haven't been able to. Oh, yeah, three will be a good time because three will be when I'm getting at the food pantry. So I go to the food pantry at 2.45. If I get there and I'm one of the first people there, I'll be finished like 3, 3.15. Because, you know, I'll be one of the first people in line. And I can just um, go on when I get out of the pantry. I'm going to let you know all the good stuff I get. They get like ribs and cakes and cupcakes and pies and um, produce. I don't trust all the produce, though. No, I don't trust all the produce. But... They get a big packs of freaking um, chicken and hamburger. I mean, like, it's stuff from Sam's Club. Like, chicken parmesan and enchiladas. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Because whatever cupcakes I get from this freaking pantry or chocolate cookies or whatever, I will be eating those on the way home. <laughs> I need to lose weight and get healthier. And I know I do. But I've been, I when we were snowed in, I would just kept baking for my kids. And I kept eating the stuff I baked. And that leads to being all that skinny. But look at my cheeks, though. I can't lose my cheeks, though. I got down to 165 one time. I was depressed. And I wasn't really eating like an idiot. But I got down to a really cute size. And then I was like, this, no. You get in this small, and then you're going to look sick. But I still didn't lose my cheeks. Like, it was more defined, like my little cheekbone area. And this was a little more, less... This was less poofy, but this was always here. I'm always gonna have fat cheeks. My sister lost all that weight, and she still has fat cheeks. All my kids have fat cheeks, and daddy has. Everybody has fat cheeks. I love fat cheeks. <laughs> but like 3:30 by then, I might should live while I'm at the pantry, but I'm uh, might not be sitting. There that long to do that. Those people over there are weird. They are weird. They will stare at you, 
they will legit add your car to you line up your queue for three thirty when I get home while I'm waiting for the girls to the bus. But the girls have the bus at four twenty. Yeah, between between three and four. I ain't gonna lie. I lie about it. But I'm probably be eating a cupcake. I'm gonna eat my daughter's onion rings. They're gonna be so mad at me, and I don't even freaking care because I'm so hungry. Oh, you are so nice. Thank you. I love you so much. Oh, you don't even understand. Like, I really truly love you. I love that you're watching me and you came back to watch me and you're commenting. And I just love that. You're just amazing. You're amazing. And I have to say, oh, I can watch your videos while I'm at the pantry. Ow! Oh, my God. It's going to be so much fun because you're a All right, babe. I'm going to go and I will talk to you later, babe. Bye.